Ah, Peach, why are you looking so sad, girl? It's gonna be okay. Look, you're still in your fancy room. You still got all your pretty things back there, all those identical looking clothes. That fireplace smoldering in the back, providing warmth, comfort, and possibly a weapon. There's no need to be so sad. No, he's he's fine, don't worry. Really? Okay, well, yeah, that, okay, that sucks. Uh, okay, uh, that is a possibility. I won't rule that out. If only... We're, we're working on that. Don't... Don't just wallow in your self-pity. Gosh! <laughs> My dear Princess Peach, how are you doing this fine day? It's no use waiting for Mario this- Oh, I'm using the Toad voice. It's no use waiting for Mario this time right here. We're so high above the sky right now, even Mario doesn't have a chance of reaching us up here. It's too similar to the Toad voice, holy crap! You know, Princess, as long as I have this star rod, no one in the Mushroom Kingdom can touch me. You know the power that grants everyone's wishes, it's mine! Isn't that just wonderful? <laughs> Imagine what it's like down in your kingdom. Your subjects must be so upset because their wishes are being granted. Oh, how delightful. They deserve it for the way they've treated us Koopas over the years. If you, you're not, you know, want anything, all you need to do is ask me, Princess. I can grant wishes. Of course, I'll only grant what requests that I'd like. Anyway, think about it. You take care, Princess Peach. Enjoy your stay here. You watch yourself, Princess. You better not cause trouble. <laughs> oh my gosh, those voices are impossible to freaking retain. It hurts my throat. <sighs> gosh. Do something yourself. Take off that glove, girl. Let's get some action go- Oh. Oh, there's always that, too. Oh, it's adorable. And it's probably sucking in all of the light, life, and matter that we know, considering it's just- Oh, sorry, what? No, wait, it's not a black hole. It's not sucking in matter or light. Just destroying everything because it's a freaking star. No, it's just a star kid. I came from Star Haven to grant your wish. It's our job to grant wishes, you know. Oh, you came because I wished that somebody would, could help me? Yes, of course! Oh, that's just great. Thank you so much for coming. Here's my wish. Go right now and take that Star Rock back from Bowser, okay? Think you can do it? Wah, wah, wow. Uh, yeah. Little much. Maybe one of our honorable star spirits to Star Heaven could grant a wish like that. I I'm so sorry. Please ask for something easy, something a small star can do. Then, can you take me away from here? Everyone in my castle has been captured and I have to save them all as soon as possible. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't grant that wish either, I'm afraid. Actually, I just got called up to the sky a day ago, so I can't do big- You are useless, is what that means. The, the pro you could probably go like, uh, ow, I stubbed my toe. Can you make it not hurt like sin? You probably can't even grant that. What am I talking about? Mario will definitely do something to save us all. He's probably coming right now. Don't get your hopes up, miss. Oh, you meant like he's coming to save you. Oh, okay. Oh, what's this now? This is a lucky star, isn't it? Okay, I'll do it. Princess Peach, I'll fly to the Mushroom Kingdom just as quick as I can. And off he go. Wait. <laughs> Wait one second. Can you also... Please tell Mario that... I'm fine and he shouldn't worry, okay? Can you tell him that? Of course! I'll tell him your exact words, Princess Peach. Definitely! Now, don't despair. I'll be back soon, so stay safe until I return, okay? He's gonna get there and he's gonna be like... Uh... Yeah, so, uh... uh what was I supposed to say? Uh, oh, shoot. Uh, yeah. Princess Peach is incredibly worried and she needs you to save her right now or she might... Never mind. <laughs> it's like that awful game of banana phone or something. But we're back! Yay! Can you just imagine if one of these shooting stars just conked Mario in the head and then the game ended right there? That would suck. Well, cross the bridge we go. Oh, jeez! What did I just say? <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, so sorry. I'm in a huge hurry. Oh, it's your Mario, aren't you? Thank the stars, I found you. I can't believe I found the only one of only two humans in this entire world, and one of them happens to be wearing red. Like, seriously, there's no other... This is, he's the only one. Him and Luigi. I don't think Wario's in this universe. I don't think he is. I don't know. 
His costume is in Thousand Year Door, but that's it. Anyways, oh, and I did not mean to hit yes there. Oh, shoot. Well, I guess this is a way of explaining the whole um, system right here. So, we have just achieved the lucky star, so we are going to show how this works. So, there is a specific timing to each of your button presses, which is exactly what I just did. Um, however, it's going to pause you because this is a tutorial. And so now, Gumbario is going to hit us, and we need to press A at just the right time to block. Okay? Next, we're going to do the hammer. Hammer, what you do is you need to hold back to the left and release as soon as the light, the final light lights up. Yes, that's what I'm doing. So hold it back, and now. And we're actually going to get a fight right after this, as that's going to allow us to practice this. So, really, this is why I didn't want to do the tutorial. Yeah, but to make sure... No, let's not do that. Okay, yeah, I, I think I think I'm good. I think I'm good, though. Thank you. Don't, don't you worry. All right. Be much tougher in battle now, and here comes that fight. Oh, fantastic. Magikoop is my favorite. What a foolish star, kid. I knew that if I followed you, I'd find Mario. If I defeat Mario right now, I'll be famous. I'll tell Kami Koopa she'll shout me with praise. She'll give me a raise. Here I come. Or you could die. You know, that, that's the other alternative. So uh, let's try out our, our jump attack right here. So we need to press it at just the right time to make it land. That's going to knock him on the ground now open to our hammer attack, which I personally prefer because it's a lot easier to land the timing on, and I also screwed up the head bump there. Wonderful. But that's okay. So now we're going to go for the hammer. And I have not played this game in freaking ages, so my timing is going to be off for the first few episodes, but don't worry, I will get the hang of it. And this thing is almost dead. And there goes my timing again. It's a lot harder to, or it's a lot easier to land your offensive timing, though, rather than your defensive, because there's such odd timing for so many different moves that enemies use that it can get a little tricky. But either way, um, obviously blocking is going to reduce damage by one, um, and then, you know, doing the combo, depending on what move you use, hammer, it, in it increases it by one, at least at first, um, and then jump, it doubles your, doubles your damage, obviously. So, I mean, they diff ha they have different advantages and whatnot. So there he goes, back to Bowser's Castle. What a brave little guy. Uh-huh, sure, well, well, considering he can't die, I mean, I don't really know, there's not much of a consequence for anything. I, don't, I mean, he can get captured and get in prison, but he can't die, so it's like, I don't know. I don't really think there's much consequence nor peril in what he is doing. Oh, my, uh, oh, Mario, really was lucky for you. He lives in that house. Okay. There's an house with this main roof. He asked me to tell you to go meet him at his house. It is just impulsive. All right, so it's rare for Merlin to call anybody. He's a bit eccentric, huh? Hmm, so he's in this house. Merlin is out! Well, I guess we're uh, No, okay, fine. We'll try it again. Why do you keep on knocking? I'm telling you, he's out. Oh, oh, jeez. Gosh, how are we going to recover from that one? No, I'm kidding. It's just a door. The face seems very familiar to me. Oh, maybe. No, yes, it must be. You're Mario. I've been waiting for you. You should have come earlier. Well, you're here now. Come in. Look at all that. Oh, jeez. Okay. Mario can't get through the door on his own. He has to phase through it. My name is Merlin. I am a wizard. When I was reading the stars the other day, an oracle came to me. What I discovered is very important and it concerns you. But before I tell you about it, there are other things of which I must speak. It's a very long story, but I'll try to shorten it. Where should I start? It was in the old days. One of my ancestors was the punch to start summoning, and as usual, but one day it happened. Suddenly, a right under I came face to face. And the far away, it was my ass was raised up. It was amazing. I was still so young then. I believe in the heart of that soul. Ellipses, 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 ellipses. Ellipses, 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 ellipses. And that is all that matters. Oh, hey, Mario, were you listening to me? Yes. Oh, all right. So anyway, that is why I'm able to help you. If you get lost during your adventure, you can come to me. I can predict the path you should take for a small price. Right now, you, your man, uh, did not read that as main. Your main goal must be to save Princess Peach as quickly as humanly possible. But according to my second side, your path must first take you to the Great Fortress of the Koopa Bros. Princess Koopa Bros Fortress, head east on the road in front of the Toad House. Got it. 
which is exactly what we will do. So Toad House is right here, and we need to head here. So you guys. Ah. What if I hit you? No? Hey, Gubari, what do you have to say about this guy? Funny color for a toad. I've never seen him before. What about what about this one? Reminds me of someone though, but who? You know, I don't think I want to know this guy. He looks like bad news. Funny, uh, he looks a little off. He's trying to be cool, but he's failing big time. Oh, oh, oh! Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Straight up owned by my boy Gumbario. That that sucks. I'm sorry. That must hurt a lot. Excuse me. I need to talk to you about something. Strange toads blocking the east side of town. Toad town. That should be. That's ridiculous. Such a th thing has never been heard of. Never. I'll get to the bottom of this. Follow me over there. I'll see what's going on. Okay. You just take care of things, old man. I'll just be right behind you. Very slowly. Very slowly. Alright, are you there yet? Hopefully you're there. Are they these strange toads you were talking about? I told you you can't pass. Take off. Nope. Um, we don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, what gives? Ask anyone. We're just cute, ordinary toads hanging out. Reveal your true selves. Okay, ow. Jeez, you just struck him with lightning, dude. Oh, boy. It's the Koopa Bros, though. I, again, they're not guarding the star spirit, though, so what good are they? Should have just jumped over them, really. Let's proceed them to their hideout, the Koopa Bros Fortress. All right. Oh, the one part of Fortune had revealed. To get to the Koopa Bros Fortress, you'll need help from a blue-shelled Koopa. This is a strange portent in Koopa Village. You might find something that will clear it up. I must return home now. Okay. Are you ready, Gumbario? Off we go. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -bum! Chapter 1, Storming Koopa Bros Fortress. Here we go. Alright. So, oh, excuse me, sir. So we are, we're about to run into a brand new enemy. These are Koopas, okay? So, yay, brand new enemies, all fine and dandy and such. So what you need to do with these guys is when they are standing up, they're going to have a defense of one. But if you can knock them on their bellies, their defense goes away and they're much more vulnerable to attack. So all you have to do is jump on them once to flip them over and they are good to hit. They also take two turns to stand back up, so it should give you plenty of time to take them out even though they have four HP. And for some reason, I didn't get the time. What? Okay. I oh, okay. Whatever you say, game. Whatever. Oh, give me that coin. Oh, no. Give me that coin. Good, thank you. All right. So off we go. Hi, you. I'm just gonna ignore you real quick. I'm gonna go through this. Oh, hi. Uh, let's let's take you out real fast with a hammer, and we should be able to get rid of you guys all in one turn, thanks to our wonderful lucky star. And now it's on you, Gumbario. And there goes my timing again. Off. Really need to work on that. Jeez. I'll get used to it. Don't worry. It's going to take me a little bit. I'm a little bit rusty. Ay ay ay. By the way, I won't be showing every single fight in this game, by the way. Don't worry. There'll come a time where I'll start skipping stuff. So don't. Don't you worry about that. Um, especially if it's not required. I mean, I'll always show required fights, but... Stuff that's not required, I'll, I'll tend to skip pretty often. Let's see, we've got a POW block here. we got this here. Oh, excuse me. And, oh, that's a switch! Uh, that's probably to help us get across, right? Well, let's hit it. Oh, he's gonna get me. Oh, he's gonna get me. Oh, he's gonna get me. Oh! Dang it! That really sucks. Okay, let's knock this guy over then. First one won't do damage, but the second one will. And now head bonk, and I probably should have not... Gosh, my timing right now. Thank you. Alright, let's see. Uh, I'm going to play it safe and just hit him with the hammer here. Take him out. It doesn't help, though, that I don't have any sound on right now, so I can't actually hear to anything to telegraph it. Because that, that really does make a huge difference, like, playing it by ear. I've always noticed that, especially with, like, the hammer and such. 
Um, so everything is purely visual when I'm playing right now, which definitely doesn't help my timing, but alas, it is something I must do because unfortunately, for some reason, I cannot get sound to work and you know, get the capture to work at the same time. Either way, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for this episode of Let's Play Paper Mario 64. There's a star piece I want, but I cannot reach. Maybe we'll get it some other time. Who knows? Either way, the next one, we'll be continuing through chapter one on our way to the Cooper Rose Fortress. See you guys then.